what's going on friends and family? My name is Skylands and I'm so freaking excited for Hightail. If you haven't seen my video talking about it or everybody else's freaking video talking about it, I don't know, maybe watch a video for people talking about it because you, you'll just be infected by their energy, by their enthusiasm, and by their genuine intrigue into this game, which for the most part kind of seems like a clone, but, 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 but there's actually a lot of buts, a lot of commas, and so much more to follow there. there. There's so much more to this game that is to be explored uh, that I actually want to kind of talk and touch on uh, with this video, specifically that topic, that Hytale is not a Minecraft clone. And now, if you have seen my last video, you know I actually straight up called it a clone multiple times. But I'm starting to think that maybe that might be a little bit unfair. So the gameplay in the background is going to be me playing probably the best server on Minecraft, Hypixel, which, yeah, that's Hytale, is being made by the people who run, who made Hypixel the server, and Hytale is with a sort of a focus on mini games, on online functionality, on those server mechanics, and really evolving the Minecraft formula, which at its foundation, that's what it is, and then evolving it from there, not just adding on things, not just making it prettier, but just straight up making it better and changing it and evolving it to kind of a new beast. So uh, let's go ahead and just talk about the nature of clonage real quick. Um, a lot of people would consider saying a game is a clone as a negative thing. I would not quite say that. I, I mean, I, I think the term clone can be just thrown around. I think it's more of a neutral thing. So, you know, Paladins is an Overwatch clone because Paladins used to be one way and then Overwatch came out and then Paladins radically changed. If you don't believe me, look at my earliest videos of Paladin and pre-alpha and look at my newest videos. Exactly. One looks almost like Guild Wars 2, actually. And then it all of a sudden looks very much like Overwatch. So there is kind of, I think you can just throw it around a little bit. Obviously a game can have unique mechanics. Obviously they can add things, take away things, change things. It could even look very different, but I think at its core, if it plays extremely similarly to a game, very specifically, like, and everyone can tell why the reasoning, it's like, okay, you, you're taking inspiration from this in most of your, in most impactful gameplay elements. I think it's safe to say it's a clone, which, you know, there's Doom and then there's Wolfenstein and it's like, Okay, they're, they're clones. It doesn't mean, like, Wolfenstein's a bad game. It just means it, it might lack a little bit of originality because something came before it. But in the end, is that such a bad thing? In fact, I've played lots of clones on this channel and I've had a ton of fun with them. Rings of Elysium. That is a PUBG clone. It is just like PUBG, but with things kind of added on. You know, it's like Snow PUBG, right? That it has, like, snowboards and gliders and things. And there's a lot of little things, little balance changes, but even like, here's the thing. I consider that a clone, but I actually play it significantly more than PUBG. I think it's objectively better than PUBG. And this is going to be the case for a lot of people who, you know, they would confront people saying, okay, it can't be a clone because it's a better version. Ah, uh, you know, it's similar. Okay. It's similar. One game before it. And it's obviously made in the image of that. Uh, that's kind of a clone a little bit. So, I mean, I think it's fair. That's just my opinion. But here we go. Now for the rest of the video, let's talk about specifically here we go, Hytail and Hypixel. Uh, so why am I playing Hypixel in the background? I mean, that should be obvious because we're talking about Hytail, but for a more distinct reason here. I'm thinking it might be a little bit unfair to call Hytale a Minecraft clone because it is focusing on something a little bit different. So to me, calling Hytale a Minecraft clone is fair, but at the same time, kind of not, because that would be like saying that Arma and DayZ, which are totally separate games at this point, but it'd be like saying DayZ is a clone of Arma, just because there was a, the DayZ mod comes from that. That would be like saying PUBG is a Arma clone because PUBG originated, or Battle Royale, the whole genre, really came from, I know Minecraft Hunger Games, but regardless, uh, that was really proliferated by the Arma engine and being played in Arma. That'd be like saying Unturned is a Roblox clone. It's like, just because that game mode that existed as a portion inside of the original engine of the original game does not mean that the full encompassing direction of that original game is being cloned here. So Hytale, you know, at its face value, it looks very similar to Minecraft, which a lot of other games did. But I would consider those other games such as Sky Saga, which I loved so much, rest in peace. That's a Minecraft clone in a lot of ways, but in a lot of ways that's not kind of, because that's more online functionality. It's it's really more of an RPG, more of a grinder, more of a dungeon diver. And Minecraft doesn't quite do that very well at all. Not at all. So Sky Saga kind of escapes that, just like I think Hytale will for reasons, which we'll get to. But then you have things like 
I can't even remember the names because they all died so instantly. Holy crap. But Creativerse, holy shit. Creativerse is, that's a freaking, that's a Minecraft clone if I've ever seen one, right? Um, so you do have your actual clones and then you have games that look like Minecraft. They might in some ways feel like Minecraft, but the overall gameplay loop that's important is not Minecraft. Just because Minecraft technically has a dungeon or you can put adventures in it or you can even create servers in Minecraft does not mean that was the original focus that is not the uh, overall gameplay loop of Minecraft. So now why is Hytale so specifically special at being um, more than just a clone? Well, obviously it's like, it, it is Minecraft 2.0 in a lot of ways, but it's it's really more like Minecraft 3.0 because it's, it's evolving and changing that much. And it's also evolving and changing with the idea of the full encompassing Minecraft ecosystem, which is gonna include these servers, which Hypixel is one of those servers. That's why I was so excited for Hytale and why it might be a little bit unfair to call it just a Minecraft clone, because it's not. It's not just a Minecraft clone, it's also a clone of all those servers, which it's really unfair to give the credit to Minecraft for those servers. Those servers, some of them are their own entire games, right? So, I mean, you have full on MMOs, you have full on RPGs, you have full on individual games that essentially use Minecraft as an engine and they're they're doing their own thing. You have your own game masters, you have like your own like actual business entities running these games, they're their servers. The, just because Minecraft lets you connect and, and, and build things starting with the Minecraft engine, though of course you have to do a lot of plug-in stuff and it gets kind of fucky, but regardless, most of that power and influence kind of it's just built on a Minecraft foundation, but you really can't give credit fully to just Minecraft. Hypixel is its own beast. Hypixel as a server is essentially, in my opinion, its own game. It just uses Minecraft as a foundation. And that's why I think it was so brilliant, so smart. And I can't believe people haven't done this sooner, you know, because people have actually done this with Roblox. They had their own games like Unturned. They started out in Roblox and then they brought it out and made it their own game. Finally, that's what Hytale is doing. So they're not just cloning Minecraft, they're taking the game that they already built, that they have already curated, the community that they have cultivated. They're taking all of that. They've played all these different servers. They've played these mini games. They know what's going on. They know the blood of Minecraft isn't just the blocks. It's the players. And they're taking all of that and they're making a new game. So that's why I say, you know what? Fuck, it's not Minecraft 2.0. It's not a Minecraft clone, right? I mean, it, honestly, it is fair to say that. You can't really complain if people do say that, but I think it's it's way, way more than that. Way more than meets the eye. What is, you know, scratching the surface deeper down. Hightail, it's got some blood. It's got it's got something special here, okay? It's got fangs. I, I, honest, I honestly think that this game will actually take over Minecraft. And at first I didn't think that, but this is Minecraft 3.0. This is genuinely something interesting and new that is coming from a, an approach where it's, it's very aware of, I guess, the meta. It's aware of the community, and it's aware of what makes Minecraft really special, and, um, or at least originally, right? Like, Minecraft was special because it was doing something new and it was trying to innovate. Well, it really kind of missed the mark on a lot of online functionality. It added it eventually, but here we're starting, we're starting at a, an expedited, you know, starting point here. We, we're already, you know, hitting the ground running, and it's like, okay, we're going full online, we're going mini games, we're, we're doing all that. It's, it's super cool. Okay, anyways, that's a little bit of gush. Um, I've already kind of, reiterated that um, a little bit. Sorry, I've already talked about that previous video. But Hytale is, yes, it's like Minecraft in a lot of ways. And it's not just like, it's it's not just gonna have better combat. It's not just gonna be better netcode. It's not just gonna be probably a more solid engine. I think it's not just a better Minecraft because originally Minecraft, what it meant, you know, it, it was very original. It was very cool, ev again, originally when it first launched. And then it kind of became something but it was never able to realize its full potential, even though players were hammering on. But now with this game, with the starting point of where Minecraft left off, you know, it's it's literally taking the torch and passing it, well, not really passing it, they're, they're ripping it out of its fucking hands. They're taking that torch and they're gonna run with it onto the distant blocky horizon, I think, uh, and right from the get-go, right where Minecraft is it and exists right now, or even a little bit further, right? We have like the sea biomes and we have a lot of things that people dreamed about and that you might've seen in plugins. That's that's a big thing. They're taking a lot of ideas that players made themselves and kind of glued onto Minecraft, right? So that's that's the thing. It's not just a clone of Minecraft. It's a clone of the entire dream idea, the, the full encompassing concept of what Minecraft could be. And so for that, not Minecraft 2.0, 
this is Minecraft 3.0. So, thanks for watching guys, a lot of, a lot of grand ideas, but uh, I think that's what Hytale really is. It's coming, it's approaching this sort of development, uh, it's approaching this idea from a, a perspective, uh, well, a multiple perspective, from a community perspective, from the perspective of actual players of games. Not a just big corporation, not just a published AAA, it's, it's coming from players who want to play a game and give us the tools to make our own. And that's god dang beautiful. So let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments below. Keep the hype alive. My name is Skylint, and I'll see you again next time.